if you spot one. Good evening, everyone. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. I'm John Evans. And I'm Francis Weller. More on that in just a few minutes. First, though, would you risk going to jail for something you believe in? Ingrid Larson says she would. She's lived in a tent on her own property since raw sewage destroyed her house. Now Ingrid has another problem. She's being evicted from her own tent on her own property. WECT Stacy Pino was there when code enforcement handed Ingrid that eviction notice. Stacy, what happened after that? Well, John, Fran, it was a quick exchange. Brunswick County Code Enforcement was only on Larson's property long enough to hand her the final notice and then was gone. Larson quickly opened the letter but was not shocked by what she read. There's, there's your notice. Currently, the tent located on your property is in violation of the above ordinance and must be removed immediately. Even seeing the bright red letters, Ingrid Larson has no urgency. And instead of packing up her things immediately, she went about her day as usual. I'm prepared to um, deal with whatever comes if I have to go to court or even if I have to go to jail. She understands the county has rules about tents only being used at approved campgrounds. But would rather be behind bars than relive her nightmare. When I walk into a bathroom that smells like, you know, urine or feces, it, it takes me back to that day. In 2005, Larson's home was flooded with 10,000 gallons of raw sewage. She received a settlement with the Brunswick County Sanitation District, but refuses to rebuild a new home connected to the same sewer line that destroyed her first one. I had no place for my kid to raise my kids, so, you know, um, I'm not paying them another dime. Larson filed an exemption with the Sanitation District Commissioners asking to use the septic tank that was already on her land but was denied. I have to go for it. I just, I, it's not within my power to tie back into a system that could flood my home again. Bearing all the elements, she is standing her ground and has no intention of moving her home. Larson plans to go in front of the Brunswick Board of Commissioners again next week to ask for another exemption to rebuild her home connecting to her existing septic tank. Reporting in the newsroom, Stacey Pinno, WECT News.